What's happened to our city? Almost 19,000 people left Flint in the last 10 years. Almost 12,000 don't have jobs. 53 lost their lives last year. Too many neighborhoods have fallen to ruin because the professional politicians have failed. Collier, Kildee, Stanley, Dix. Their so-called leadership got us where we are. And we need a new leader to get us back on the right track. If you're ready for better and bolder ideas than we're getting from yesterday's professional politicians, get ready for the leadership of Don Williamson. He's running for mayor. He'll turn Flint around. I was born and raised in this great city. Went to Hazleton School and Zimmerman High School. This was a great city to live in. Much has changed since the days Don Williamson grew up in Flint. The world we live in has changed, but Flint's leadership hasn't, and today we pay the cost. I believe in Flint. I believe in the people in Flint. All Flint needs is leadership to turn this great city around, and that I have. Don Williamson has made a career out of leadership and turning things around. He's not a politician with a stack of speeches. He's an experienced businessman and job creator with a track record of results. Let's start at Windmill Place. When Don Williamson bought it, it was broke, empty. He made some changes and turned things around. The object of a business is you have to consider the customer as king. And if you don't think that, you don't treat them that way, they aren't coming back, they go away. Start charging the correct prices and start being nice to people and give them some service and you'll see that this place is turned around. Just like when I come to Windmill Place, 100% of these restaurants is full. Now, they weren't then. I took this building and had dirt floors. Nobody finished it in very, very bad condition. It's, a very, it's probably one of the most profitable business in the city of Flint. Don Williamson is known for innovation. His plant in Owasso is a clear example. He developed an exciting new way to make bumpers. The so-called experts said it couldn't be done, so he did it anyway. First time I came out to Owasso with Don five years ago, he showed me the plant, what he's planning to do, and he did a lot more than what he told me he's going to do. He started out with laying out two machine foundation. We end up with four machine. We're running approximately 2,000 bumpers a day. We have approximately 150 employees here, and, and uh, as far as I know, everybody is happy. All I can say about Don, he's, uh, he's a man of his word, and, and everything he does, he just do it fantastically. Don took the same spirit to Blaine Buick. When Don got involved, the dealership had just 10 used cars and was sinking fast. Today, it's thriving, and the third largest Buick dealership in the country. His ability to turn around business has been uh, very very well documented through places such as Blaine Buick's where he gets involved and brings in the proper management, makes suggestions, sets back, watch the, watches the results. He's done that in several instances that I've been involved with and through my time I've observed a guy that definitely knows how to go in and make things happen. Don's used his experience to make a difference for Flint. He set up a training center for our youth to give them a chance. First of all, this training center is different. It's not federal funded, it's funded by me personally. No gifts from nobody. This is 100 people, but this is geared for the youth that haven't finished high school. They think there is no future. We have to show the youth today that there is a future and teach them a trade so that they can get a job. But nobody's doing it now. What a difference Don Williamson has made. But there's more to be done. And now Don Williamson is running for mayor, using his experience to turn Flint around. Don Williamson is not a politician. He's not tied to the old way of doing things. He's coming in with bold new ideas and tough leadership for change. I think that he will be good for the city for two or three reasons. And number one is he is not a professional politician. 
What makes Don Williamson different from the professional politicians who've run this city into the ground? Number one, I care. Number two, I know what to do. None of them do. And the whole key, you said, the politicians. I'm not a politician. I don't even like them. I'm a business person. And I know what to do. And I know when to do it. Don Williamson is ready to turn Flint around. To turn Flint around, you have to put Flint back to work. And Don Williamson is ready for the job. He's going to put Flint back to work with some ideas that are pretty new. Putting people to work, making a difference for our city. So let's take the unemployed in Flint and start a house building program that nobody's making a fortune. And let them build these houses and put them to work and sell them to the people at a reasonable price. That's Don Williamson's style. Bold new ideas. And it's killing two birds with one stone. More jobs and the housing we need. But he's not stopping there. Turning Flint around means taking back our streets. Under our administration, these people making these big salaries down here and not doing nothing, that money will go to the fire department, the police department, youth gangs, and we will have ample police protection. And something will be done. His plan goes further, including new programs to fight youth gangs, bringing back the police cadets and reserves. Our current mayor thinks the way to fight drugs is to put up a sign. Don Williamson knows that. He's going to send a simple message and back it up. A clear message to the thugs who deal drugs and terrorize our families. We're taking back our streets once and for all. There's more. To turn Flynn around, we need to turn our neighborhoods around. The time is now. We have a problem in the city of Flint. Uh, the city of Flint has been victimized by dilapidated, burned down buildings that has been left standing, which is deteriorating our city. I think that um, Donald is concerned about that and he will do something about that. Unlike our current mayor, Don Williamson is out in the neighborhoods, seeing the problems firsthand. It is a very, very nice neighborhood, remember? If we could just get the rest of the neighborhoods to do the same thing, show them that we care. I think if you show everybody you care, it's gonna make a big difference in the city. Definitely. With Don Williamson, it goes beyond just talking about how he cares. He's backing it up. Don won't be taking a salary as mayor the way the professional politicians do. He'll be donating his pay to the neighborhood groups so they can make a difference one street at a time. Don Williamson will be a different kind of mayor. He believes in Flint and wants to lead the way to better days for our city. Flint has been good to Don Williamson, and now he wants to return the favor. I'm asked a question every day. Why do I want to be mayor of Flint? It's pretty obvious I don't need the job and I don't need the money. But Flint has been very good to me, and I, in return, am going to help Flint turn itself around and repay Flint what I owe. For Flint, it's a chance to make a change by making the switch to Don Williamson as mayor. He's reaching out into the community, bringing it together like few ever have before. He's a successful businessman, proven job creator. He's dedicated to this city and to making the change we need. For Flint, the choice is clear. If you want more of the same, vote for more of the same. But if you're ready to turn this city around, vote for the leadership of Don Williamson as mayor. For the future of our city, Don Williamson is the change we need.